Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, somewhat unusual video but then again we are in somewhat unusual times so obviously at the moment there are a lot of people quite rightly isolating themselves around the world. I live in the UK, uh, last night we were given the instruction to stay home, very strong instruction. Really people probably should have been isolating themselves much more than they have been but that's by the by. But one of the problems with this is People don't know what to do with themselves. And there's only so many series you can binge watch on Netflix. And I think it would be really good. It's a really positive thing if you could come out of this with some new skills, do something you've never done before, etc. So what I'm doing here in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a free demo of uh, Cubase Elements. So you can download the software for free and use it for 30 days. But also I'm going to be giving away a chapter of my book, which will get you up and running. Uh, I'm going to try and do some more videos this week, which are just going to be simple, getting you started videos so you can start making music. So if you're the kind of person who's not been able to make music for whatever reason throughout your life, uh, hopefully... This might give you the opportunity because I think it would be a really positive thing if although obviously these are incredibly difficult times and people are dying and the people in health services are doing absolutely heroic work. I think it would be good for those of us who are shut away in our houses to also come out of it with something positive. So maybe a new skill. And this is my own tiny, infinitesimally small way of trying to help you with that. Okay, so we're going to start out. We're going to go to the uh, address which is shown here. Now, I've put this in the description so you can just click on it. But it's new.steinberg.net forward slash Cubase forward slash trial. That takes you to the trial page for Cubase. So here we can say it says you are new to the world of Cubase. There's a question, which is a strange way to word the question. But there we go. And you can click try Cubase elements. So here we are on the uh, sign in page. Now, if you already have a Steinberg ID, you probably already have Cubase or something, then you can already sign in. You don't need to worry about that. But if you don't, you can create a Steinberg ID pretty easily. So I'm gonna click create Steinberg ID. Now, obviously I'm gonna cover up my details here because I'm not entirely crazy. Just have to confirm that we've read these lengthy Okay, so once you've finished that step, you will get an email to the email address you registered at, and that will have a six-digit number in there, which you need to enter. So you just enter that in the site, which you're going to see now, and that's what allows you to confirm your email address. So here you can see me entering the number above, and then once that's done, you're good to go as far as your My Steinberg account is concerned. So here's the email from Steinberg, and this is the important code. So this is the code you're going to need to get elements up and running. So I'm just going to copy that, and then we'll deal with that in a bit. So now we need to download it. So I'm going to download the Mac version because I'm on a Mac. Okay, so here we are in the Downloads folder on the Mac. This would be much the same on the PC. You'd get, you'd get the Download Assistant. Installation is slightly different, but you can probably follow the same steps because it's pretty similar. So I'm just going to mount and then install that. So this is the Download Assistant, which does all the work of downloading any Steinberg software. So again, if you've got other Steinberg software, you'd have this installed but it just means it's much easier than it would have been otherwise to download things and you never have to go to the Steinberg site to find things. You can just run this and away you go. So once you've installed it on PC or on Windows, it will look very similar. So we can see here we've got the Download Assistant and once it updates, the products are available. We can see we've got Cubase, so we want to go for Cubase Elements because that's the one we've got. Okay, and you can see that the full download of Cubase Elements is a massive 15.3 gigs. That's quite a lot because it comes with quite a lot of content. So that's the one to go for. We're going to press download. And then obviously I'll speed this up because real-time downloads, not particularly exciting. And as you can see, sometime later, your huge download will finish and then the download assistant will verify it. 
which itself can take a while. Okay, so when it's finished doing that verification, you should just be able to click open and then it will run the installer. So I'm gonna click that now. And in this case, it opens up the folder where it is. So we just need to double click that installer. So obviously this is on a Mac. It will be slightly different on Windows, but basically on Windows, it will just be an exe file that you'll run. And once this is done, we will see the next step in the process. Which is where we get the installer itself, which on a Mac is just this package, can, which we need to run. And we go through the normal, basically clicking all the defaults. So you do the same on Windows, just click all the defaults and install it to the default location, etc. Here I have to put my password in. Don't think you'll have to do that on Windows. And now it installs all the content which comes with it. Now, uh, this Mac is has already got Cubase on, so not everything will get installed, although we will have everything. We will have access to everything, but some of this stuff is already installed. But you'll go through the process. It will take a while because there's 15 gigs or so of content for it to install. So depending on the speedy machine, it could be time to uh, go downstairs, have a drink and wash your hands thoroughly. So there we go, we've got to the end of the installation. So Cubase is now installed. I'm gonna move that to the trash because I'm like that, but you don't need to do that. And we can close the Steinberg Download Assistant. However, we're not quite done yet because what we need to do now is to put in the activation code to allow Cubase to run. So you need to run the e-licenser control center. So the way I do that on this Mac is with my good old friend, Alfred, but you can do that on Windows just by tapping the Windows key and then in the start menu, just type ELI and then e-licenser control center will come up. It's the only way I find any programs on Windows and this is how I do it on a Mac. So once we're there, we get the normal warning about this, that and the other. At the moment, I would just cancel that maintenance task because we don't want to do anything like that and also untick always show this because it's just an overview that probably nobody reads anyway now what we need to do is a code if you remember about 300 years ago we got a code via email now we need to put that code in so what we can do is go to the actions menu and then enter activation code and here we get that now if you've copied and pasted that you can just paste that in. So I'm just gonna to go to my email and copy that code. So here's the code, just gonna copy that and then paste that in here. And we can see Cubase Elements 10.5 trial. So you don't need a dongle, it's attached to the computer you're on and you just click continue and then it will put it on the only e licenser that's available. So you click download license. It can take a few seconds, sometimes it will take a minute, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. If it doesn't work, you can just retry it. Occasionally I've been on machines where the internet has disconnected for whatever reason, but I've never had a problem where I couldn't just retry it. So it's a pretty good system generally. And there we go. So now we can close that window. And now you need to do start usage period. So it's this is a 30 day license. So we need to start that license because at the moment it's not valid, but we click start usage. It goes to the server and just does that. And there we go. So we can see this is gonna expire a month from today. But now we are ready to run Cubase Elements. So we can quit eLicenser Control Center. We don't need to have that open. So I'm gonna quit that. And then finally, at long last, we can run Cubase Elements. So I've just typed ELE because that's in Elements. Uh, gonna click that. And then we get to the time when it first runs. So it gives you a warning, says 30 days, etc. You click OK. And then it will go through scanning all the plugins. So this is scanning the plugins and 
any other media that's come with it. So it might take a while, depending on how fast your system is. But fairly soon, we will get to the point where you can create a new project. So it's going to ask if it can use the microphone, which it does on a Mac. It wouldn't necessarily do this on a PC. Um, and this warning here is just coming up because I've got all of my uh, Cubase proper, in fact, Cubase Pro, etc., and all the other stuff that I bought uh, because I haven't got my dongle on. It's saying, well, there's no licenses for these. So you probably won't see this, but let's say I want to get this video out quickly. So don't worry too much about that. I'm just going to click OK. And here we are in the Steinberg Hub. So now we are ready to create a project with Cubase. So that's where I'm going to leave you on this video because it's already been significantly long enough. And in the next video, I'm going to take you through some of the basics of getting started with sequencing. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, please keep safe. Please stay indoors. Please don't see anybody you don't need to see. Only go out if it's necessary. And then we can all get through this together and work for a brighter future. See you soon.